in Vancouver, the real iconic quality of life activity is sailing. To be able to break loose, get out on the water, is a really wonderful experience. One of the real powerful moments for me is to look back on the shore and see my empty wheelchair. The Disabled Sailing Association was the very first program in the world. Having severely disabled people sailing on their own, racing, participating in this activity that most people would never associate with disability. We needed a sailboat that was really well designed for the use of disabled people. So I got some money together and we created a Martin 16 sailboat. In 2005, the manufacturer of the Martin 16 burned down and for several years you could no longer buy them. So the Annenberg Foundation helped put together a process to locate a new manufacturer, get the molds made and get it to the situation where we could get new boats being produced. We now have about 150 of them all over the world. There would be very high level quadriplegics, people who couldn't move their arms at all. So we decided to take on the project of fitting a sip and puff device to the sailboat. We now have people who are completely paralyzed from the neck down, able to sail. There's, there's one straw for the helm and there's one straw for the sails. So it's pretty intuitive. You sip to starboard and puff to port and with the sails you puff to let the sails out and you sit to bring them in. You're able to just fly along on the wind and uh, tune the sailboat to go as fast as you can go. And just leaving the wheelchair behind. It's freedom. When you add up all the people that are sailing, that never would have been able to sail. It's several thousand people. And these people are saying, I've never been sailing as an able-bodied person, and here I am disabled. I thought life was over, and I'm actually doing more stuff than I would have done as an able-bodied person.